So one measure of spread that we have is the interquartile range. The interquartile range, otherwise abbreviated to IQR, is found from subtracting the lower quartile from the upper quartile. Okay? And that gives you range of the middle 50% of the data. Okay? So I'm going to work out the interquartile range for a discrete set of data here on the first example, and then a grouped continuous set of data on the right. So for this set of data here, Okay, first thing to do is to find the median value. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bits of data. So the median value will appear at the fourth position. So seven plus one divided by two. So here is the median. Okay, now I don't need the median as part of my calculation, but it's just to find the correct position. So the lower quartile is the median of the top half, ignoring the median that you've just found. And so 7 is the lower quartile. And the upper quartile is the median of the bottom half. So that's the 22. And so the interquartile range for the first example is 22 take away 7, which gets us 15. OK, so that's the interquartile range. For the second example, I'm going to have to use interpolation to find the lower quartile and upper quartile first. So I need to have a cumulative frequency down the side just to keep um, to figure out the position. So that'd be 38, 238, and then 238 plus 42 gets me to 280. Total frequency 280. So 280. And then you divide that by 4, so a quarter of the way in gets us to 70. So the lower quartile will be at the 70th position. So we've gone through 38 bits of data there, and then to get to 238 bits of data by the end of the group, so it's between 40 and 80. So the lower quartile, take away 40, over 80 take away 40, is 70 take away 38, over 238, take away 38. OK. So 70 take away 38 over 238, take away 38, gets us 4 over 25. Multiply up by the 80, take away 40. And then add 40 to both sides. And we get 46.4 as the lower quartile. The upper quartile, we're going to have to use interpolation again. So there were 20, 280 bits of data, so three quarters of that is 210. So it's the 210th position. So that is also in that grouping. So we've gone through 38 and 238 bits of data. So the upper quartile, take away 40, divided by 80, take away 40, is equal to 210, take 38, over 238, take away 38. So work out that fraction first. 210, take away 38, over 238, take away 38. So that's 43 fiftieths. Multiply up by the 80, take away 40, and then add 40 to both sides. And that gets a 74.4. And so the interquartile range is 74.4 take away 46.4 and so that's 28 okay so that is how we can work out the interquartile range from a discrete set of data like that or a grouped frouped uh, group continuous frequency table like that